welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another WW Weekly meal prep. I cannot wait to share these recipes with you guys. They are all so incredibly delicious. Perfect breakfast, perfect lunch, perfect snack. So something a little bit different, kind of veering away from the dessert type of things and moving into a really good protein related snack. And it is delicious and of course it's low points what else would there be on this channel? So I'm really glad that you guys joined me on this week's weekly meal prep. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for breakfast, lunch, and that amazing snack, all you have to do is stay tuned. For breakfast this week, I'm gonna be making an egg casserole with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. This sounds so good. I'm gonna pair this with a mix of blueberries and strawberries. You guys, I cannot wait to share this with you. This recipe sounds amazing. So let me show you what is in our egg casserole with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. So first you're going to need some oil. I'm gonna go ahead and use olive oil. The recipe itself actually called for grape seed oil. So whatever oil you have on hand, egg whites, flour, skim milk, breadcrumbs, salt and pepper. You'll also need some paprika, light butter. I'm gonna use Trader Joe's light shredded mozzarella, but you'll want some sort of light shredded cheese. Also some sort of fat-free cheese. Full eggs, mushrooms, Canadian bacon, and green onions. So let's get started on this week's breakfast. The first thing that we need to do for our casserole Chop up our green onions, chop up our Canadian bacon, chop up our mushrooms, and then we'll get ready to start cooking. Next, we're going to make our cheese sauce. So I've added two tablespoons of, I can't believe it's not butter light, half of a cup of fat-free cheddar, half of a cup of Trader Joe's light mozzarella. I have two tablespoons of flour. I'm also going to add two cups of skim milk, so this is the Fair Life, only because it has less points than regular skim milk. And then we're just gonna add in just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt, and we are gonna allow this to cook down until that cheese is nice and melted and our sauce is nice and thick. And then we'll just set this aside while we put together the rest of our casserole. When your cheese sauce is nice and thick, that's how you know that it's done. So we're just going to go ahead and set that aside. Now we're going to get cooking down our Canadian bacon and our veggies. Add your one tablespoon of olive oil to a large pan. We are going to add our eggs to this as well. So make sure that your pan is kind of a thick one so that you're able to add your eggs in. To that, we're going to add our Canadian bacon, our mushroom, and our green onions. And we're going to saute this down for about three minutes. While our veggies are cooking, we're gonna go ahead and do our eggs. So I have seven whole eggs. So go ahead and add those to a large bowl. And then also five egg whites. And you can do all full eggs if you want. I just decided to go ahead and do the egg whites like the recipe said. We're just gonna mix this all together, whisk those until they're nice and combined. And then these are gonna get added into our Canadian bacon and vegetable mixture as soon as it is done sauteing on the stove. Once your Canadian bacon mushrooms and green onions are softened, look at how delicious that looks. Oh my gosh, you guys, yum, it smells so good. This is where we're gonna go ahead and add in our eggs. Now we just wanna cook our eggs long enough until they are set. We don't want them fully cooked because we are going to move them into a greased casserole dish where they will continue to cook in the oven. Once your eggs are mostly set, we're gonna add in that delicious cheese sauce that we made and we are going to stir all of this together until fully combined and then we'll get ready to put it into our casserole dish. Go ahead and grease your nine by 13 dish with some nonstick cooking spray and look at this, yum. We're gonna go ahead and add that egg and cheesy mixture to our casserole dish. You guys, this smells so good eggs and cheese and Canadian bacon. Plus what's great about this recipe is you're getting that little dose of veggies in the morning, so that's never a bad thing. So go ahead and spread that out as evenly as you can. And then from there, we are gonna be adding our breadcrumb topping. So I have one cup of Italian breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to take that and just kind of sprinkle it 
over the top of my casserole. Once your breadcrumbs are on top of your casserole, look at that. Yum. We're just going to take a little bit of paprika. I'm using the smoked paprika, and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on top. You can also mix it in with your breadcrumbs if you'd rather, but I think it looks pretty on top, and the flavor is going to be the same. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle just a little bit of my smoked paprika all over my casserole. You guys, yum, this looks so good. What a filling, delicious casserole that not only gives you your protein from the eggs, but some veggies and then that nice bread crumb topping. So this is going to go in the oven at 350 for about a half of an hour. Our casserole just came out of the oven, you guys. This looks so good. Look at how thick and delicious that is. So I'm going to let this cool for just a few minutes. We're gonna slice this into six servings. I'll get it into my meal prep container. I'll show you what I'm having for breakfast and give you the smart points. So here's what I'm gonna be having for breakfast this week. I cannot wait, this casserole sounds so delicious. So here is one sixth of the breakfast casserole. Look at how huge that is. It fills the entire large side compartment of my meal prep container. Those breadcrumbs will give it that nice crunchy top, the eggs, the cheese sauce, and of course you're getting a serving of veggies. So what could be better than that? I'm pairing that with just a mix of strawberries and blueberries. So this looks so good. What a filling, high protein, veggie, delicious breakfast. So one sixth, so this entire serving of the egg Canadian bacon mushroom casserole is only five smart points. That's it guys, five points for my entire breakfast, five smart points. For my lunches this week, I'm gonna be making copycat Qdoba chicken and I'm going to copy also their burrito bowl. So I'm gonna be making a Qdoba copycat chicken burrito bowl for lunches. Cannot wait, so let me show you everything that is in my lunch. Again, I'm getting a nice, healthy dose of vegetables, which is always a good thing. So you are going to need some olive oil, some garlic, chili powder, oregano, cumin. I'm going to add some of these frozen avocado chunks. You are always asking where I got these. These are from Costco. So I just usually weigh out the avocado for one smart point worth. I'll show you how I package it up to keep it fresh. And then I take it to work and top my burrito bowl with it when I eat my lunch. I'm also gonna be using some fat-free sour cream, corn, black beans, jasmine rice. You could do cauliflower rice if you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and do real rice. Boneless, skinless chicken breast, tomato paste, an orange, a lime, zucchini, onions, and bell peppers. So let's get started on our Qdoba chicken burrito bowls. So the first thing that we need to do is get our chicken made up and marinating in the fridge while we cook our rice, chop and cook our veggies. So I went ahead and diced up my three organic chicken breasts. This should be enough for five days. I am making my lunches for all five days. To this, we are going to add one eighth of a cup of olive oil that I made a huge mess with. But anyways, one eighth of a cup of olive oil. You also want to add in about two cloves worth of garlic. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball what I think is about two cloves. I won't be mad if I have extra garlic at all. And then we are going to add the juice of one navel orange. So I went ahead and juiced that. And the juice of one lime. Yum, this sounds, smells so good. Okay, then we're also going to add some tomato paste and we want about a tablespoon worth of tomato paste. So there's that. And then some spices. So we have some cumin. We also have some chili powder. And again, you know, I don't typically measure my spices. Just going to kind of wing it. And then I'm also going to add in some oregano. And we're just going to give this a big stir. I'm going to use tongs. I think that it makes it easy to mix everything together. So we're just going to get everything nice and mixed together. Make sure your tomato paste gets dispersed amongst your chicken, all your seasoning, all of that delicious juice, and of course your olive oil. And 
then I'm just going to add this to a Ziploc bag and I'm gonna throw this into my refrigerator and I'm just going to let this marinate the entire time that we're cooking our rice and then cooking down our veggies. So here's my chicken, it smells so delicious. It actually smells like when you walk into Qdoba, so that is making me thrilled. So I'm gonna get this into the refrigerator. While my chicken is marinating, I'm gonna chop up my peppers, my onions, and my zucchini. I'm gonna put them here in my bowl, and then we're gonna pan fry these up a little bit, get them nice and saute down, crispy, basically like fajita vegetables, and that's gonna get added to our burrito bowl. I have some nonstick cooking spray. I'm gonna add in this ginormous bowl of veggies. So this is my peppers, my onions, my zucchini. We're spinning, and I'm just gonna let these saute down until they're softened. They don't have to be, you know, entirely cooked. I want them to be, I guess, softened with a little bit of crisp on them. So I'm gonna get these cooked down while my chicken continues to marinate. And then I'm gonna rinse a can of black beans and drain a can of corn, because we're gonna add that as well to our Qdoba bowls. But yum, look at all these veggies. So I decided to divide my veggies up into two pans because this, my friends, is a lot of veggies. To my veggies, I went ahead and I just added some of the Trader Joe's chili lime seasoning just to give them that little bit of flavor. I'm gonna continue to let these cook down. I'm gonna have my rice cooking while our veggies are cooking. I added two and a half cups of dry rice and about two cups of water into my Instant Pot. My favorite way to cook rice is in my Instant Pot. All you do is hit the rice button and it comes out perfect every time. Look at how delicious our vegetables look, yum. I'm gonna go ahead and condense them into this pan here so that I can use this pan to cook down our chicken, but these are looking delicious. Just a couple more minutes and then we'll add in our chicken. So there are my cooked vegetables and I just added my pieces of chicken and marinade directly to the large pan. So we're gonna let these cook down until they are crispy and it smells so good you guys, so incredibly delicious. So it is time to assemble our bowls. My rice came out absolutely perfect out of the Instant Pot. So each bowl is going to have one half of a cup of rice. So I'm just gonna kind of spread that out into the bottom of my bowl, which that is the perfect amount of rice because we are adding in so much other good stuff to this recipe. So over here I have my chicken. So I'm just going to add some chicken pieces. It is just gonna be kind of random. I just wanna make sure that I have enough chicken for all five days. So I'm just gonna kind of add in a few pieces. I have my veggies here. We're really gonna go fun with those because we have a ton and we're really gonna bulk this up with some delicious vegetables. And then lastly, I have my black bean and corn mixture. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of that on top of my bowl. And again, we want this to be enough for five days. So look at this, you guys, this huge, burrito bowl. Let me grab my sour cream and avocado. We'll put this whole thing together and I'll show you the smart points. So I've went ahead and measured out one point worth of the frozen avocados. So that's this right here. That is one smart point worth. And then also two tablespoons of fat-free sour cream for one smart point. So I'm just gonna pop those into my bowl and then pop the lid on it and it is ready to go. So let me finish putting together the lunch meal prep and I'll give you all of the smart points and show you exactly what the finished bowls look like. But this looks absolutely delicious. So here is my completed lunches for this week. So my copycat Qdoba chicken burrito bowl 
is huge. And let me give you the smart points. So I have three points, half of a cup of jasmine rice, one point for the marinade on the chicken makes four, corn and black beans is zero, veggies is zero, one point of sour cream, makes five one point of avocado makes six so this entire bowl is only six smart points that is so much food with real rice sour cream healthy fat of avocado for only six points i'm also going to be bringing some grapes for zero and then for dessert i'm going to be having one of my caramel pecan cluster sweet nothings these are only 30 calories a piece or one smart point these are so good. These taste like a real delicious pecan cluster that you would get at a chocolatier. I mean, delicious. Absolutely love the sweet nothings. You can purchase these at proteinwise.com. There is a link down in the description box that will give you $10 off of your first order. So you can't beat that. Get yourself some sweet nothings. And there are so many fantastic products on that website. So these are one smart point a piece. So that makes my entire lunch seven smart points. Look at all of that, seven points. For snacks this week, I'm gonna be making WW Pound Droppers protein balls. These sound so good. I am not using unsweetened coconut flakes because I don't have any, but you can add those and it will not change the points value. So let me show you what is in these protein balls. They are low points, packed with protein, but you also get a little bit of yumminess with some chocolate chips and some real peanut butter. So first you're going to need some old fashioned oats, Lily's dark chocolate chips, or any chocolate chip, just make sure that you recalculate the points. We are gonna be using Jif Whips, Devotion Nutrition Angel Food Cake Protein Powder. I love Devotion, as you know, it's the only protein powder I will be using from here on out. I do have a discount for 10% off. I'm gonna link it down in the description box. Click the link and you, my friends, will get 10% off of your order. You will not be sorry. Devotion is so good. There is no protein taste. There's no weird aftertaste. It's not chalky at all. It is smooth. It is creamy. It is delicious. It's fabulous for baking, but I love having it just as a protein shake as well. And again, this is the Angel Food Cake. They also have chocolate, which is called brownie batter, which I love as a protein shake with some PB2 and banana. Oh, yum. So check out Devotion Nutrition. Click my link down in the description box to order. Save yourself 10%. Also, I'm going to be using some almond milk. This is almond coconut. We'll need some cinnamon, some real fresh, delicious honey, and then some vanilla extract. So let's get started putting together our WW Pound Dropper protein balls. So let's get our protein balls put together. You're gonna need a good sized bowl. I went ahead and measured out one and a half cups of old fashioned oats. So we'll put those in. And then we're also going to add one scoop of my favorite protein powder, the Devotion. So I'm just gonna level out my scoop, add that. And then we're also going to add one half of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I'm not going to measure, just gonna kind of eyeball it. We're also going to add eight tablespoons. I did measure this out on my food scale of Jif Whips. So eight tablespoons of Jif Whips. Again, I did measure that out on my food scale. We also have two tablespoons of honey, and I also measured that out on my food scale. And you could use the sugar-free honey. I decided to use the regular only because the points are so low using the regular honey and more people have that. So I wanted to make sure that I did a recipe that most people would have all the ingredients for. We're also going to add two tablespoons of almond milk. I measured out 14 grams of Lily's dark chocolate chips. And lastly, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we're gonna give this a nice stir until everything is combined. And then we're just gonna roll these into little balls. And once you have your mix nice and combined, we are just going to roll this into 22 little protein balls. So I'm not sure quite of the size, but I wanna make sure that I'm getting 22. I'm just going to put them here on parchment paper. So I'm gonna roll these out as even as possible getting at least 22 little protein balls. So 
I have 22 protein balls. This is the size of them. I just tried a little bit of one. They are so good. So you can store these in the refrigerator for up to a week or you can throw them into the freezer and store them even longer. But I'm just gonna put these in a Ziploc bag in between some parchment paper. And what a fantastic two points, two points a piece with 22 balls. Fantastic little bite of sweetness and protein and of course a little bit of chocolate. So here's what I'm going to be taking for snacks this week. I'm going to keep it pretty simple. So I'm going to be taking a Bilt Bar, of course. You know I love the Bilt Bars. I usually like to take a different flavor every day. So I have a lemon chocolate cream, coconut, double chocolate, cinnamon, which I love, and mint, which is also another one of my favorites. So these bars are three smart points a piece. They literally taste like a candy bar. I love them straight out of the box, out of the fridge, out of the freezer. I just love them in general. I literally eat one every day as my morning snack because it keeps me full. Use my code here on the screen to save 10%. Here's the stats on these built Bars. 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, that's why it keeps you full. Six fiber, four sugar, four fat. So not bad at all and literally tastes like a candy bar. So these are three smart points a piece. Right now, Built Bar is running their promotion through the 24th, where when you buy two full boxes, whether it's a single box, a mixed flavor, or even a build your own box, Built Bar will throw in for free six of the cinnamon chocolate cream for you to try, no charge. That is a $10 value. You'll also get 10% off of your two boxes and free shipping with my code. The cinnamon, in my opinion, tastes like a chocolate covered cinnamon bear. I love it, it's one of my favorites. And also, Bill Bar released that the banana is now a permanent flavor. So if you loved the chocolate banana, you can buy your full boxes of that and earn yourself six free cinnamon. Use my code. Check out Built Bar, you won't be sorry. I'm also going to be bringing my little snack packs of carrots, I love these. Individually wrapped, easy to eat, love having them just on hand as a quick snack. I'm also gonna be bringing some light and fit yogurt. This is the tiramisu. I like to top my yogurt with my all-time favorite granola in the entire world, and that is the Julian Bakery Pro Granola. You guys, this granola, so good. There's the stats on this granola, one half of a cup, two points. That's it for a half of a cup of granola. This is the vanilla cluster. I really like this flavor on top of the Greek yogurt. I also love the espresso on the Greek yogurt, especially the tiramisu flavored because it's that double dose of coffee. Here's some information on pro granola, paleo and keto, low net carb, high protein, gluten-free, grain-free, nothing artificial, you guys, soy-free, non-GMO, no preservatives. The vanilla, this is awesome, is actually vegan and is full of plantain protein, which is a pea protein versus a whey protein. So that makes this a vegan granola. Two points, half a cup. Use my code here on the screen to save 10% and get free shipping. All you have to do is click the link down in the description box, enter my code, and voila, you get 10% off and free shipping on one bag or 10 bags, whatever you decide to buy. There are so many fantastic flavors of Pro Granola. It tastes so good. I love it atop a little bit of yogurt. I like it by itself with some almond milk. It really is a fantastic product and it is made of such good whole, natural, delicious ingredients. So definitely if you haven't already, score yourself some Pro Granola. And lastly, I'm gonna be taking my favorite crackers. These are from Fiber Gourmet, the same company that I buy their pasta. These are the Thinables. So for 30 crackers, it is only two points. And this is the jalapeno cheddar flavor. I've actually never tried this one, but these crackers are so good. They are just like Cheez-Its, but over less than half the points. One serving of Cheez-Its, 20 crackers, I believe is five points. This is 30 crackers for two. So I love having these on hand. They have a nice healthy dose of fiber, 11 grams only seven net carbs, which is way better than Cheetos, and, and four grams of protein. You can have a cracker with protein. I buy these off of nutrition.com. There's a link down in the description box. Just click it, it'll take you directly to the website. So I'm gonna have me some Thinables, yogurt with my favorite, love the Pro Granola so much, on top, some carrots, and my other favorite thing ever is the Built Bar. So these are my snacks 
for the upcoming work week. Thank you for joining me on this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing my breakfast, lunches, and the protein balls. They are so good in two points. Two points for something loaded with protein and chocolate. So what could be better than that? So thank you again so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend a huge warm welcome to my YouTube friends and family. This is the best place to be. Make sure that you subscribe hit that little notification bell so you're notified each and every single time that I upload a new video. I upload pretty much daily, so you don't wanna miss out on any videos. Give this one a thumbs up, comment below, let me know what you guys thought of this week's meal prep, and I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye guys.